teaching you guys how to cycle your tank and just how cycling works. So here I drew up a little diagram for how tank cycling works and I'm going to explain it to you guys. Here we have our axle model which will produce poop and that's the waste. So, when the waste starts to rot and decompose, it turns into ammonia and nitrate. I mean nitrite. So, ammonia and nitrite are lethal to your axolotl. So you're going to want to get rid of these as soon as possible. But you can't really with a siphon or a turkey baster. So that's why you're going to need your beneficial bacteria which will eat the ammonia and the nitrite. So, for this, you're going to want to remove your axolotl from the tank, just so it doesn't get affected by the ammonia and nitrite. And then, you are going to want to use something else, other than its waste, to produce the ammonia and nitrite. You should always cycle your tank before you end up getting your aquatic pet. So, a way you can create the ammonia and nitrite is by getting fish food right here. And when it rots, it will produce your ammonia and nitrite. That way, when the benef beneficial bacteria grow, they will eat this. The thing about living organisms is that they all have to, you know, defecate, which means they all have to go to the bathroom. So the beneficial bacteria, in this case, will produce nitrate. Remember, nitrite and nitrate are two very, very different things. Nitrite is lethal to your axolotl and nitrate is not exactly lethal in small quantities but if you know if it reaches high levels then it will kill your axolotl so you want to be sure that doesn't build up too much and that's when you clean your tank. So all you have to do really is just change out around either half or a quarter of the water and then dechlorinate it with some dechlorinator right here. For example, I have Nutrifin. This is more made for betas, but you know, it works just as well. Hello, kimchi. Okay, so anyways, you'll clean your tank to get rid of the nitrate. And that way, the cycle starts over and your axolotl is back and then the cycle starts all over again. You don't have to cycle all the time. You only have to cycle once unless your tank crashes. And that means all the beneficial bacteria wiped out and there's no more to eat up the ammonia or the nitrate. Nitrite, sorry. That's when you're going to want to restart the cycle. But make sure you always take out all life inside of the tank, ex excluding plants, um, before you cycle because the ammonia and the nitrite in there will kill them. So be careful. Another thing. So you're going to want to find a way to test the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels in your tank. And for that, you will need a pH testing kit, which I do not have with me right now. But um, yeah, I'm going to link you to a video which teaches you how to do it. So just click right up here. Okay, <laughs> this has been sufficiently awkward, so I'm going to see you guys later. Bye!